Hey, what's up, guys? PK78 coming at you guys today. This lovely Friday, February. I want to say 18th, 2023. Not too sure, but I think it is. Anyway, this is February 2023. I don't care. Make up a conversation coming at you today. Got to go to work. It's truck day. See the excitement on my face about truck day. Anyways, there's a couple um topics I want to talk about today. One is the GoFundMe account for beauty is going kind of okay. We raised, well, with the GoFundMe account, they take their own percentage out, which isn't much. But I raised $250. I was only asking for the first $500. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because we don't know exactly how much the surgery is. They gave us a range. Uh, estimate, kind of. And they said it could range from anywhere from... The first estimate was 350 to 800 The second estimate was 500 to 1000 And then the other one said anywhere from like 350 to 2000 So... With a hope and a prayer, it's not going to be $2,000. I don't have it at all. I mean, we're pushing to do the $1,000. Um, so, yeah, the GoFundMe account, again, is GoFundMe.com. And you can search under my name, which is uh, Roberta, R-O-B-E-R-T-A, Paxson, P-A-X-O-N. And the... The subject line for the uh, funding is emergency surgery for beauty. Now she goes on Tuesday to the vets to get put on antibiotics. That alone is going to cost us almost $200. And me and my daughter are paying that out of pocket. So far beauty is okay. She's been resting a lot. She's still, of course, she's still having leakage. She's still infected. There's really nothing we could do at this time right now um, besides the antibiotics and an emergency surgery, which I'm not sure if they're going to choose to do that or just put her on antibiotics at first. But we have to see the severity of her case. So that's been a little stressful. How was everybody's Valentine's Day? Mine was great. Uh, we use, you know, we don't need, we use what my fiance as Boy 46 Money Team says. Why do we celebrate Valentine's Day when, you know, a man like him, he says he loves me every day, not just on one day. And he needs every day to celebrate it, not just once. So I thought that was kind of sweet. I still got Valentine's Day gifts and stuff, so. I had to work on Valentine's Day, which was kind of good for me because I was able to get his, like, little gifts. He has another gift coming. It's just not here yet. I had to show you. Let's talk about dreams for a second. I had to straighten this dream. Um. It, my my dreams become very weird and realistic. I don't think I appreciate the one I had last night. I'm not going to get into detail about it, but it, it was very deceitful and I don't like it. Another subject, the fallen officer of McKeesport. Uh, Slang Slawinski, Officer Slawinski, or Slawinski, something like that. Can't pronounce his last name very well, but that is a sad situation. I love the fact how the communities, not just one, but a bunch of communities came together. And a lot of people don't know this, but I do because I work at, you know, the community store. Uh, 
he okay so for his funeral it was they had a mass for his funeral the other day and hold on a second And so all the police officers could attend the funeral. And they had a, not a parade, I guess a memorial parade for him the same day. So they took turns. Like our police officers went to the funeral first and they called in backup police officers to patrol and then they switched, and a police officer that was patrolling for backup went, and then our police officers came back. The community came together and made food. Um, they raised money for the family, and okay, so the reason why I paused so long for that is because I really want to Think about what I want to say before I say it. I, I I get that people... Cops, a lot of cops got a bad reputation. I get it. There's good cops, there's bad cops. Not all cops are bad. I look at it like... If you've seen a little, the picture of his little girl and his wife, they're young. The wife is young, the baby's young. That little girl has to grow up with memories of her father instead of making memories with her father. I don't look at it like the community came together just for an officer. The community came together for a family that was going to be in need. There is people shot unnecessarily every day, literally. And I get that. And the community should come together for that. And, and most of the times they do. But it depends on your loved ones. It depends on the people who love you and support you. If you don't have that support, why would the community back you up? This man was protecting and serving. He 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 went to a domestic call. He I believe it was a setup because there was rumors that the the mother that called into the domestic dispute was a previous uh, police officer for McKeesport and was actually suing the McKeesport, the city of McKeesport for her a wrongful, a wrongful uh, discharge, uh, firing, for getting fired. Uh, so, what better way to get back at the police force than to know that your son has PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder from being in the army, which he served our country too, so it's kind of a lose-lose situation. He, he gets your son in this, in this mode th that only you know how to, tr you know how to trigger his PTSD. You're his mother. Come on now. I know what pisses my daughter off. She knows what makes me angry. You, you know what buttons to push is what I'm saying so with that being said the mother knew what buttons to push the mother knew to anger her son the way she did and the result of that was he took it out and was fearful of the policeman showing up now let's not forget an officer got shot in his face in his cheek and it supposedly went out the other end or something. Thank God he's still alive. This ain't a race thing because the second officer that got shot was black. So it's not like, oh, he took out a white officer. No, it's not a racial issue. He took out an officer, period. He took out two, but one survived. You know, it, it's it's sad. It's very sad because now both families are at loss because there's this man who has PTSD, so they're claiming... I mean, when the media first hit on this, they had people thinking it was a 15-year-old child. And it wasn't. It's a, what, old man. He's an older man. 
Like, this cop that lost his life was only on the force for a couple, a few years. A few little years and, and, and lost his life. That's crazy. I know a lot of people are upset and say, you know, why didn't, why don't people, you know, community come together all the time, not just when an officer gets hit. I, I, I get that. I totally understand that. But don't take away from this officer didn't do nothing to, as far as we know, because nobody knows this officer's life but him, him and God. Nobody knows what this officer did in his, his, in his lifetime. But they say karma catches up to you. I just think it's it, it's sad because I know what it feels like as an older person to live without their father. I could just imagine being that little and not being able to have your dad. Like, that's super sad. I don't know. But I just thought I would touch on that subject because it's, it's everywhere. Another subject. Turkey. Oh, my goodness. My prayers go out. To the little, what is that, a country? A Turkey? I don't know if it's considered a country. Anyways, Turkey, um, the natural disaster that happened over there, that I'm praying for them. They said, you know, it it was bad. I've seen some pictures. You know, that just goes to show you, we don't, we don't never know when tragedy is going to hit. That's a natural disaster. That was a disaster. That wasn't man-made. Definitely was not man-made. I'm so busy looking into the camera. I wasn't even paying attention to my makeup. It wasn't even blended all the way. So much going on. I haven't did a lot. I, I've been so focused on uh, my cat's health. I'm praying that she makes it to Tuesday to be able to be seen at the um the vets. There it goes. Allergies again. Never fails me. Never. It's almost seven thirty. I got about fifteen minutes. Just gotta put my socks, shoes on, my jacket. Uh, another subject. Okay, so I have a very important decision to make. I have the laparoscopic band in my stomach. I got it in 2011, September of 2011. I know because it was right before my birthday and that sucked. And it's time for it to come out. It's overdue. But because of the pandemic and everything, I, I, I really couldn't do anything. Everything was closed. So, I called my doctor. And, of course, the band does have to come out. That's kind of a more simpler procedure. Won't be out very long. Uh, God willing, there's no complications. So, the decision my doctor wants me to make is, do I want revised surgery? That means for me to choose whether or not I want invasive surgery as far as the sleeve. That's where they, you can Google it, but that's where they suture your stomach to make it the size of a roll of quarters, which is probably roughly about this size, give or take. Now, mind you, your stomach is as big as a fist or a little bigger. So you're taking this and making it this. So... That's that's a lot to lose. That's a lot less room, a lot less, you know. Or I could get the bypass, which is out of the question. The bypass is where they, uh, they attach your stoma directly to your intestines and cut out your stomach and they leave it to the side. One, I'm not okay with something, an organ, or uh, I don't even know if a stomach is an organ. Whatever the stomach is, I'm not okay with that just sitting inside of me, just chilling with no life going to it no you know 
I just think in the long run, deterioration of the stomach, maybe. I, I don't know. But it's not reversible. There's a lot of medication that you have to take afterwards. Uh, the success story, the success story with the banding is, is okay. It's not as successful as I'm willing to take a chance on. The only reason why I have to make this decision is because my insurance is not going to pay for another surgery after this. So once they go in for the band, if I want a, another embrace of surgery, um, I have to make the choice at my upper GI appointment. I have to get a GI to make sure there's no problems with the band before they take it out. So I have some time to think about it. But the only other option I'm thinking of is if I want to just get the band taken out or to get the sleeve done. This, with the sleeve, I won't lose dramatically a lot of weight to where my skin will be just sagging. I have time to work out and, and you know, tighten up my skin. Uh, the only, but your stomach lays on top of your spleen. If by chance when they're cutting and they open, they rupture my spleen in any way, shape, or form, they have to take it out before I bleed to death. Your spleen is a very sensitive organ. Go figure. Anything can happen during a surgery. I mean, you could be getting your teeth pulled and something happens. That's another subject because I got to touch on that too real quick. But so that's that's and it would really help me out if anybody watching this had bariatric surgery to give me their input on this. It's a very difficult decision. Of course, my family is going to back me up no matter what decision I make. Ultimately, the choice is mine. I pray about it. I am a godly person. I, I, I do pray about it. So far, I'm just leaning towards getting this band out because with me taking the Ozempic, doing the cabbage diet every other week, I'm losing my weight. So that's just on me. That's me doing it. That's, you know, self-discipline. So I only have to lose 80 pounds. I'm, I'm leaning towards I can do it. I, I really think I can. I just think I want to get the band out. So, let me just tell you guys. You've all seen the videos of how bad my tooth, my teeth were. Correct? Okay. I just and literally just went and got seven teeth pulled, something like that. It's five, six, maybe, I don't, three, four, five, five teeth pulled, right? I have none back here, and I only have one back here. Ask me why I couldn't sleep last night. Okay, I'll tell you why. I had a toothache. Oh my goodness, this tooth back here, the straggler, the loner. That one. Oh my goodness, it hurts so bad. No matter what I took, it hurt. So I had to take an antibiotic for the pain to go away. And I had to put an ice pack on my face. I went to sleep. Thought I was going to wake up with freezer, not freezer burn. I can't believe I just said that. Uh, with uh, frostbite on my face. But, yeah, so, uh, back to the dentist I go. They should have just pulled all the freaking teeth in my mouth. I'd rather be Gumby than, I'm telling you, than deal with another darn toothache. This is ridiculous. I don't think he's, these dentists are milking our, our health care. Like, I told them, like, just pull all the teeth that are bad. No. He wants to be capped to save a tooth. Sorry. I got a little angry there. But it's the truth. It really is. I'm I'm over toothache pain. I'm over it. Over it. Okay, so what's left to do? My eyes. Hmm. Well, let's get to the eyeshadow, shall we? Sure. I'm going to do.
And a quick thank you to everybody who donated to Beauty's Emergency um, Surgery Fund. And like I said, for the people who don't feel comfortable sending it through um, the GoFundMe account, you can directly go to Always Compassionate Veterinarian Clinic, uh, Baldwin area, I believe. I know it's in that area. I don't know the exact address. You can Google it. Baldwin, PA. The account is under my name. I said it before, Roberta Paxson. And you have to tell them you want to you wanna fund, you want to uh, add to the funding to, for Beauty. That's my cat's name. She has to have her uterus removed during a spading. She unfortunately had too many litters and it took a toll on her uterus and she she developed a uterine disease. It's very rare but it does happen in older cats to not spade it. I have three fur babies. I have her, I have her son and I also have her niece. So, um, I was preparing to get them all neutered and spayed it. One boy, two girls. Time wasn't on my side. It just wasn't. And it's as, as sorry as I am to say that it's, it, it's just, it wasn't on my side. So, unfortunately, because she wasn't spaded, she developed this uh, uterine disease. It's called uh, Paula, Paul, Paul, P O, no, P Y O R M T R I A. Something like that. There's already a video made with the correct name and spelling. I don't have time to add that to my video today. I always catch myself making faces as I'm putting my makeup on. If you want to know what I'm doing and how I applied it and what it is that I applied, you can go see any of my makeup tutorials and it'll show you. This is quick and easy, inexpensive makeup, except for my best skin ever that cost me $20 for my foundation. This Anastasia comes from Ipsy. Family Dollar, LA Color, Family Dollar, Biggie Lash. Oh, my Wet n Wild, Family Dollar. All of this stuff you can get for uh, a makeup haul probably cost you about, if you get my, if you go to Sephora and get the best skin ever, if you go to Ipsy and get this Anastasia, uh, concealer. I want to say with all the makeup that I showed you today and this palette that was, it was given to me by my sister for a gift, but it's LA Colors too as well. You can get it at Family Dollar. I'd say all that makeup together would probably run you a good 75 bucks total. And that's because the best skin ever is twenty dollars. So if you take that twenty dollars out to seventy five, it'd probably be about sixty bucks. I mean fifty, maybe fifty bucks. If that oh. why does that do that? Oh, that has something on my eye right there. I also use setting spray. It kind of comes in a little bottle like this. And it says setting spray on it. But this is hydrating spray. 
that was my alarm saying, hey, get kitty gives, it's almost time to go. I have 15 minutes left before I walk out the door. Eyeliner, just the way my eyes are going to look today. Don't really care, so I don't have to be perfect. I'm not, I'm not um, impressing anybody. Oh. Dude, what is going on? I hate when it's just that one piece of something that won't leave. There it is. I have, thanks to my alarm, I have Rihanna's, we're going to run this town tonight. Song stuck in my head. So guess who's going to be singing the lyrics to that? At work. It's amazing what eyeliner does to a person's face. Oh my. Biggie lash. Okay. <sighs> so I'm going to work with this today. My carousel is so overloaded. Like, I have to get rid of some of these brushes, makeup that I don't use. There we go. Okay, so thanks for bearing with me this morning. As always, I hope you have a blessed weekend. It's Friday, guys. Be safe. I tell you guys this all the time. Please be safe. Anything, anytime, any moment, something can happen. Life can change in, a, in an instant. So, please be safe. Stand for something or fall for anything out here in this world. I want to say God bless and... Please, 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 please like, comment, share. If you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe. I have a pl plenty of videos out um, on my... Sorry, I was looking at my nails. Um, I have plenty of videos on my, my little um, YouTube thing. So, I also have a TikTok. Uh, I believe it's under Roberta Pumpkin Paxson. I'll put the link in the description below. Also, I don't add a lot of people to my Facebook. Only because it got hacked too many times. Anyways, I'm out. Ready to go to work. I'm really not ready, but I'm I'm about to go to work. So, God bless until my next video. Sboy46 Money Team. Love you. Hope you have a great day at work. Beauty Babes 9735. Love you. Mommy loves you. Have a good day at work, even though you work from home. Lucky little brat. It's like, um, but I love you guys. Uh, till the next video. See you guys.